Hi, everyone. I'm joined by uh, Fraser Bowie from uh, New Eyes. Hi, Fraser. Hello, Chris. Thanks for having me. Um, before we get into New Eyes and the smart glasses that you're developing, um, I noticed that you have a long history of experience in AR, including uh, at Verizon. Can you can you tell us tell us more about your your background, how you got into AR? Yeah. So at Verizon, I was uh, had an innovation team on the learning and development side of the house, and we were working on content management. And it dawned on me that we were creating all this great content, but when somebody was in a bucket truck or truck or climbing a pole, they couldn't access it because they weren't allowed to grab their phones or, or things like that while they were up there. So um, I looked to wearables and, and how can we get that information in, in AR and, and in these wearables so that when they have trouble, when they need assistance, they were able to do it without climbing back down the pole or, or the cell tower and that sort of thing. Well, that's a great background for with the role you're you're in now. You understand the pain point. So uh, you're the chief product officer at New Eyes Technologies. Um, you know you're you're a member of the VR AR Association. Thank you. And we've been kind of tracking your your progress. I think you're on the third version. Can you tell us more about the the smart glasses? Yeah. So you know, New Eyes started um, seven years ago in the low vision space. So uh, our CEO, Mark, wanted to, to get rid of the, those big microfiche sort of machines for those to help them read books and all that. And he looked to AR headsets and initially um, was working with ODG and um, their headsets, um, being able to, to use them for the low vision folks. And then um, that obviously was an enterprise device that he was using. And then when they went under, he started building his own and so now we have um, one pair without a camera, but the other pair with a camera. And, and given that they're enterprise devices, not only do we do low vision, but we now have moved into the enterprise medical and, and even um, a little bit in the, the consumer space as well. Oh, really? Um, so can you, let's start with the consumer space. Can you tell us uh, what, what's cooking there? Yeah, so you know, it's it's the Pro 3E. It's these. They look like a pair of sunglasses. Um, it doesn't have a camera, so we're very, you know, you know, we're trying to 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 build that device that's very simple. Um, both our devices connect to a phone, which is is great through USB C, so that the compute power is all there. And in the consumer space, the Pro 3E, we're kind of putting it towards almost a second screen and and becoming that metaverse viewer. So the idea that you can, you know, augment, uh, augment um, some, some location-based stuff. So, you know, with, with the geo positioning of the phone, you can augment the environment that you're in, but then also use platforms like Engage and, and others where you can use it like a 3 off device and look around and see what's going on, as well as the simplicity of, connecting your Xbox game controller and start playing game, you know, Xbox um, Game Pass from the cloud on your phone. And it just gives you this beautiful, you know, 140, 150 inch screen that you can play on. No, I really appreciate this approach because, um, you know, I was one of the fanatics standing in line for the first spectacle glasses. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I think the consumer appetite is there, but I think, you know, they ran into kind of some roadblocks, but I think one of them was actually camera in the glasses and people were freaking out. Are you recording me? Is it on? Mm -hmm. You know, so it wasn't really, people were not ready for looking at people with a camera <laughs> on their eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, you know, that's, that's one of the things like we have to slowly get people comfortable for our, for um, um using something that's a pair of glasses that does more than just this right that yeah. more than correct your vision or block the sun so we wanted to take those small little steps and you know we're also a big believer on uh, and let's make it as light as possible and it's why we chose to go with USB-C um and so we don't have the you don't need to charge them right and you don't have the weight of the battery or 
or the heat of the processor up there. So it, it um, again, it's small steps to get to our, you know, what we all imagine where these glasses are augmenting the world around us and they're as light as they are today and last all day, right? That's where we all want to get to. But for now, we're, we're taking small steps to get there. And on the enterprise side, can you share any of your uh, recent successes? Yeah, so we're we're working with a number of enterprises. We've we've partnered with um, both Telepresence and Blitz for remote assistant and step by step with Telepresence, and um, we actually have some of our own offerings. But we're we're working with everyone from a couple of the Fortune, you know, one hundreds down to the smaller, you know. HVAC sort of companies. And, and again, like I think we've seen in the industry, the, the big jump is into, um, into the remote assist first and then slowly starting to get step by step. Um, so there's been some great traction there. And then we're working with a company in the medical side that again is about uh, medical imaging. So, so providing that bigger image in the field of view. And so one of the things we're working on, working with them and, and have started deploying is actually using a wireless ultrasound wand um, that is connected to the phone and the glasses, you know, wirelessly and the glasses are connected to the phone. And now the nurse or doctor can actually start working with the ultrasound while still having that conversation with the patient, still being able to um, you know, see a big image in, in part of their view so that they can, they can really see what the ultrasound is, but they're not always looking for the monitor to the left or the right. And then it makes it really small and portable, right? You've got glasses, a wand and a phone, and you can do ultrasound just about anywhere. Um, that's great. And speaking of healthcare and enterprise, we do have two forums coming up. Uh, we'd love to have you speak there, the enterprise forum and healthcare forum, a virtual event. But then, you know, we're going back to physical events. You might have heard uh, our Immersive Global Summit will be happening in Miami Beach. Yes, uh, I'm very it, excited. <laughs> yes, people are excited just to go to Miami, I think. But our show will be, will be amazing and we would love to have you there as well. Um, so uh, thank you so much uh, for your time today, Fraser. Really appreciate it, Chris. Thank you for, for doing this and, and keeping the, the VRAR Association going. Thank you.